As we work with the information in tables and queries, we often want a printed report of that data. Creating professional looking reports with Microsoft Access is easy and it's convenient. We're going to create a report from the data in our query. There are a couple of ways to create a report. One is the auto report feature, which creates a report automatically. But we'll create a more sophisticated report with a report wizard, grouping invoice information by customer. We want to create a printed report of our query, so we make sure it's selected. Then we click on the New Object Buttons drop-down arrow. We select Report. In the dialog box, we'll select the Report Wizard. We double-click on it, and the first Report Wizard dialog box displays. We select the fields we want on our report in the order that we want them to appear. Last name, invoice number, due date, and invoice total. Then we click on Next. The report wizard asks how we want to view our data. By customers is the default selection. The sample to the right shows how the data will be grouped. And for each customer's last name, the report will display invoice number, due date, and invoice total. That's what we want. So we click on Next. This dialog box asks if we want any grouping levels in addition to those already shown. We don't, so we click on Next. Now the wizard asks us which fields we want to sort and subsort by within the customer last name group. We choose invoice number so that all records within each customer group are sorted by invoice number. So we click on Next, and the wizard now asks us which layout we want for the report. We like the default choice, stepped, so we'll leave it, and then click on Next. The report wizard asks us what style we would like to use. We select a style we like, and the style is previewed to the left. We move to the final dialog box. The wizard asks us to name our report. We'll title it Sales by Customer. We're done defining our report, so we click on the Finish button. The report wizard now takes the choices that we made, creates the report, and displays it in the preview window. We maximize the window for a better look. And when the pointer is positioned over the report, it resembles a magnifying glass. We can use it to change our view of the report. We can zoom out to a reduced full page view simply by clicking anywhere in the report. This gives us a good look at the layout of the report. And if we want to zoom in to a close-up view of a part of the report, well, we just simply point there and click. And to print the report, we can just click on the Print button. Here it is, the report. And now we can print a sales by customer report anytime with current invoice data. And we can use report design tools to organize and summarize report data in almost any way we want. So in just about an hour's time, you've seen how Microsoft Access 97 gives you powerful and flexible ways to manage your data. And there are many more access features that you can explore, like creating web pages of your data with hyperlinks. So enjoy learning and using Microsoft Access 97. Can I check this note with you? Absolutely. I'm not sure I've got it right. Sure. Destroy new fudge, Harry needs pizza. <laughs> You're close. Destroy new fudge? That would be delivery next Friday. Harry needs pizza? And that's Harp Reads Piano. Okay, look. An R goes like this. An okay. S yes. is like this. Just like that. Now an L goes right. like this. Oh, you, the little thing on the end there. Which is like a T, which has a thing like